everybody god is so good and truly the lord's mercy it endures until the end well bless god i just wanted to encourage you tonight hallelujah i wanted to remind you of the story of shadrach meshach and abednego how and when they were faced with you know some trials and tribulations and they were faced with whether or not they were going to bow the knee or if they were going to stay true to the Lord. I want to encourage you tonight that they were able, hallelujah, to take a stand for God. They were able to trust God. They were able to believe that no matter what, the God that we serve, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that God, the God of the Bible, hallelujah, was able to keep them and was able to deliver them out of of their circumstance and I like what Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego had to say in the book of Daniel the third chapter and the 17th verse it declares if that is the case in other words if we're thrown in the fire our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us from your hand O king do you have that kind of faith today to know that God is in control? Do you have that kind of faith to know that God said he will never leave us nor forsake us? Hallelujah. Do you have the faith to believe that God said when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up the standard against them. Do you have the faith? faith to believe if God be for us he's more than the world against us do you have the faith to believe that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper in every lying tongue that is risen up against us thou shalt condemn do you have the mustard seed faith that's required hallelujah to know that God will move mountains for you so I want you to know today you're not alone in your stance if you are standing on the word of God if you are standing for God if you are proclaiming his word his truth even in the midst of what we face I want you to know God wants to encourage you tonight. He wants you to know that he sees you. He wants you to know that he has never forgotten you. He wants you to know, hallelujah, that he is right by your side. So keep standing for the Lord, hallelujah, as he upholds all of his people hallelujah thank god for the blood of jesus today that covers us his only begotten son that died and paid the price for our sins our risen savior our mediator our great high priest the one who ever hallelujah maketh intercession that's our holy spirit also hallelujah making intercession for us god has equipped his people to be powerful it says we shall receive power after the holy ghost has come upon us we have been given the power to be witnesses we have been given the power to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover we have been given the power to cast out devils we have been given the power to do the will of the lord so i want to encourage you tonight by just telling you to keep trusting god because he sees you want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was 
was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3, 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.